All right, well, we're going to show you a little bit of how to make some money on uh, World of Warcraft Classic. And the uh, thing of it is, is uh, there's three things that truly always make money on World of Warcraft. And those three professions are mining, fishing, and herbalism. Those are the three... Uh, professions in Warcraft that will make you the most money. I mean, yeah, you can, uh, you know, do other professions like blacksmithing and stuff. And, um, another one that can make you a little bit of money is, uh, alchemy. Alchemy can make you some money. And, oh, what else will make you some money? Enchanting. Enchanting can make you some money too because people are always either looking for the regs or or they're doing the enchanting themselves. And that can make you some money. But if you want, if you don't want to go down that pathway because, you know, you're really selling a service with those, with any uh, main profession. You know, blacksmithing, alchemy, you know. Well, not so much alchemy. Alchemy, you can throw it on the auction house and and just sell it that way. But the other ones, you're kind of, you know, you're selling yourself and you're selling a service out to, uh, you know, the other people. But with uh, mining, um, <clears throat> herbalism, and, uh, and fishing, you know, you just go out and you do these professions and you know throw whatever you catch or whatever you mine or whatever you uh, oh, gather through herbalism and you just throw it up on the auction house for whatever uh, the going prices are I mean you can uh, sometimes the going prices are pretty good and sometimes they're not like through uh, mining, the, oh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but the top uh, mineral you can mine or metal you can mine is called thermium, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but thermium uh, kicks out uh, gemstones, and the main gem it kicks out is uh, called arcane crystals. And arcane crystals are worth quite a bit. When uh, Warcraft uh, Classic first came out, the um, the arcane crystals were only worth give or take about thirty gold. I mean that's still a lot of gold for Warcraft Classic. But now the arcane crystals are worth about oh anywhere between forty and I'd say 70 on a good day. 70 gold. <clears throat> Which is uh, some pretty good gold. I mean, if you've ever started a character from zero on Warcraft, it's not easy to build up gold. But once you get up to level 60, if you uh, train each of the items I, I mentioned up to 300, and you go out into the world and gather the materials, fishing and herbalism and and mining. You'll uh, you'll make quite a bit of money. Yeah. And the place I'm at now, this is the place to make the real money. And people don't generally bug you too much. I mean, it can be get overpopulated a little bit. And I can't. I remember how to uh, pronounce where I am. I'm in Azaria. Azaria. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, that's uh, 
the place I'm at. And the other thing you'll want to get is a gathering add-on. I can't quite remember which one I'm using. I could look that up real fast. Not a problem. I am using Gathering Mate 2, which you can get on uh, where you can get from uh, it's a site called Wowhead and that's where I've gotten all my my add-ons it's a trusted site that's been pretty much with Warcraft almost since the beginning and it's a good site uh, if you can't figure out a quest or something you can just Look it up and it'll give you a general idea how to do the quests and people that have done them before that are part of Wowhead will put their two cents in in comments and tell you pretty much how to do the quest. Because if you play the, the retail end, it uh, it's really too easy to do quests in the retail end now because uh, they basically show you where the quest is and what you're looking for but in classic WoW they didn't do that they didn't tell you where to go or what to gather or you know you were basically questing blindly I mean when Warcraft first came out it took hours and hours to just level because you didn't know where anything was they didn't tell you where it was you had to read the quest over and over again to make sure you were in the right spot if you were looking for the right creature if they wanted you to kill something or the right person if they wanted you to kill a person or gathering the right thing if they wanted you to gather something and it was quite hard you just you had to have some serious patience and you know and just grind it out and it was a little bit that way when they came out with the classic but I played the, the original vanilla so it uh, so it wasn't a problem to, I knew the quest and I knew how to how to finish the quest so it was like just blew right through the levels and stuff so so it was no big deal but but if somebody is like just beginning WoW Classic and I recommend they play it I mean yeah the game's 15 years old but it just it hasn't lost its luster for me I mean I've been playing this game since the beginning and I just love classic I love the original game it just reminds me what I uh, I don't love playing the game about yeah. I mean they just came out with Shadowlands and I just I don't know from a lot of players I hear it's not very good and I tend to roll with uh, the veteran players on the game to uh, you know to let me know their thoughts and they're not really happy with it you know I mean Never know, I could give it a try and I could be happy with it, but I don't know. Sometimes you just have to value other people's opinions. Yeah. But so for now I'm just gonna leave retail Warcraft alone. I uh 
I actually quit the retail after the last expansion. I was done with it and shut my game off. And then, like, the day after I shut my game off, and um, then they came out with Classic. Next thing I know, I'm turning around and turning my game back on because Classic is what I was waiting to come out. I mean, for years and years, I've been wanting for them to come out with a version of the classic game. I mean, somebody would be out there and be like, oh, well, they have private servers of the same thing. But I didn't, I don't know. I played private servers of other games I've played over the years and just... I don't know, there was always just something about it that was different than the original game that I played. And there's a little bit a little bit different about Warcraft uh, Classic. You know, only minor tweaks here and there that aren't the same, but they're they're things I can overlook because I mean yes, it's it's a fifteen year old game. They've gone through more expansions than, than a lot of games have, you know, and try to keep it going. And they have, and but they did a really good job of revamping the original game and bringing it back out. And I give them props for that. It's like I said, I've been waiting for this game to come out for years. And now they're talking about uh, bringing out the Burning Crusades. And I'm hoping they put that on its own separate server. Because I'm not done playing Classic yet. I've got other characters I want to level up. I've got other things I want to do, you know. I've got at least two other characters I want to level up. I want to play a druid that I have at level 30. I want to build a warrior that I have at uh, oh, I think my warrior is level 19 or 20. But, you know, I'm still, I'm still not, like I said, I'm still not done with the classic part of this game. And I am nowhere near ready for them to pop out the Burning Crusades. I mean, some people are, but some people, I don't know, they have the attention span of a gnat. They can't sit and, you know, enjoy something. It's always, oh, beat that, got this, I got that, you know, and I'm bored, you know, move on to something else. But I'm I'm not that way. I I enjoy grinding for money to see how much gold I can make. I enjoy PvPing, and that's the main part of what I like to do, is PvP and grind it out, try to build up my rank and stuff. And I'm just ready to sit here in Classic and just have a good time and enjoy it. Yeah. I don't, I don't raid. I enjoy PvPing. And PvPing is never the same experience twice. So, you know. It might be the same battlegrounds. But, yeah, I just, I have fun playing them. Yeah. Not that I don't enjoy, you know, the Burning Crusades with uh, their battlegrounds. It's, you know. But I just don't want to do that right now. Yeah. I don't want to play Burning Crusades. Now, if they could uh, set it up on their own, that they're on their own server, but somehow make it. That 
you could roll one of your characters from classic over to Burning Crusades classic and level it up from 60 to 60 to 70 like it was I mean that would be fine but I'm just like I said I'm not ready for that I mean I love classic I love playing it, it keeps me intrigued. I play it every day. I PvP every day. I go out and look for gold every day. There are things that make me gold. Yeah. And when you're uh, out here, like you see me grab the chest. Most people don't grab the chest. Some do. <clears throat> but the chests are Pretty much your immediate money. I mean, like when you first land over here from uh, the flight path, your first chest is what basically what pays you to get over here. It's what I call uh, the first chest is what I call paying the bus fare to get over here. Yeah, <clears throat> because they normally always have like ten silver. Like, to get over here from Ogamar, it's only six silver, so it's like, you pick up your first chest, it's automatically, automatically paid you to, uh, come over here, you know, because after, after you initially pay the bus fare, at uh, Everything else is a profit. But people don't pick up these chests because it's like, oh, it takes up room in my chest. But it really doesn't because there isn't, there isn't really enough, uh, unless you hang out here for hours upon hours, which you could. <clears throat> but uh, unless you hang out here hours upon hours you never really get a full pack and anything that's worth selling there's a vendor over there's a vendor over uh, in the little camp that you land in there's a vendor over there you can just wander over there for two minutes and uh, a few seconds and just sell off anything sell off anything that you don't need to the vendor and just keep on going you know but yeah so that's a little bit of my thoughts on this and a little bit on how to make money with my uh With my hunter here, I uh, I only have fishing and mining with them. I want to build my druid up, but I'm not done. Uh, I'm not quite done messing around with my hunter. I enjoy uh, playing him and. I mean, he could be better, he could be worse, but I, uh... I enjoy playing the hunter. People talk about... Oh, hunters are cheap, and blah, 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 but... You know, hunters aren't cheap. They, uh... It takes a lot of skill to play a hunter. Yeah. Because you have like, people don't take into account that you have a, a dead zone of eight yards between you and eight yards out. You can't shoot your gun 
which is your main DPS. And you can do a little bit of damage with your melee weapon and you know, you have some skills you know you can use, but you know, your your arranged DPS, your uh melee weapon is kinda it's kinda last resort. And that's, you know if I have my choice to hang back and shoot you with my gun or have you in my face and me try to beat you down with my melee weapon, I'd or melee, however you want to call it. I call it melee. But anyways, either way. Whatever you want to call it. But my point is, if I had a choice between shooting you or hitting you with my weapon, I would sooner shoot you because that's what I'm designed to do. And a close combat is Well, something, something that I'm trying to avoid. I'm not trying to get into close hand-to-hand -hand combat with you. I'm just trying to stay away so I can use my weapons. And then they talk about uh, you know, my ability to use traps. Well, the thing with your traps is you can't use them you can't use them while you're in combat. Which I guess that's a thing I do like about the Burning Crusades because they made the Burning Crusades so you could use your your traps in combat, which changes the hunter up totally. But right now, if I'm in combat, faint death takes me out of combat for just a brief second, and then and then I've got to quickly try to drop a trap, you know, so I can. use a trap and if they hit me anytime if they hit me anytime quickly then I'll let you have it I'm nice but um Like I was saying, if they uh, hit me before I can drop that trap, then that's it. You know, I can't drop the trap until my uh, faint death resets, and it takes 30 seconds for that to reset, and that's huh, that's forever in PvP. 30 seconds might as well be a lifetime. For you to wait for that to reset, and so the hunter, like I said, it's the hunter is a complicated beast, really. You have to really plan out in your mind what you're going to do and how you're going to attack people. It doesn't always work out to where you got like mages that can do all kinds of stuff. They don't have a dead zone. They can pretty much do free spells, block you up, or the worst thing is sheep. I can't stand being sheeped. Oh, that pisses me off. 
That is so cheap. Especially when you're in a battleground. You're in a battleground like Warsong Gulch and you're trying to get to or kill the flag person and they sheep you and you're sheeped for like a minute. It's ridiculous. Same thing with sap. You know, you get sapped by a rogue and you're sapped for like a minute. It's like, what the hell is that? It's ridiculous. Yeah. And then if a rogue knows what they're doing, you know, you're pretty much paralyzed through a whole fight. It's like you can't do nothing. Rogues are pretty cheap. Mages are cheap too. And the third thing on the list that's very cheap is warlocks. Warlocks are super cheap. Uh, I digress. Alrighty, well I think that's all I want to talk about. And I will... Talk with you later about this. And uh, I'll have you listen to my my ending about uh, going to uh, oh, going to my affiliate link and stuff. Well, that's uh, my video, and I thank you for watching. And if you like my video, I ask that you'd give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, certainly give it a thumbs down. And I uh, ask that you'd please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content of my video. And in the bottom, there is a link to my affiliate site, which is a blog with a bunch of links to uh, different sites that have products. And uh, you can find yourself something nice and uh, help me live my dream and there will be videos popping up on the left and the right and you can click those and watch more of my videos and i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching goodbye